Hi, this is Vidya from the Kowai Post. Today we will be talking to Mr. Subramanya Swami. Mr. Subramanya Swami is on his way to Kerala for a book release and we happen to uh, get him at uh, the residence of one of his party men in Peru. Very warm greetings from uh, Kowai Post. Uh, sir, uh, how many ha times have you visited Coimbatore earlier and uh, what, I mean, talk about your association with uh, the city. Oh, it's very long. In fact, uh, my first visit was perhaps in 1970. 1970. Okay. I'd come back from Harvard and then I joined uh, Johnson. And we had uh, a strong unit here because some corporators had got elected. So there was big news all over. So I'd come here to address a meeting. Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, I mean, I've lost count of how many times I've been here. Okay. And sometimes I spend long time here because the, the Arya, uh, you know, Vaidya Pharmacy is here. Ah, okay. So I come here to, uh, you know, spend two weeks, three weeks okay. in the massage. So I'm to, and I've addressed practically every college here. Okay. A well-known college here. So very long association. Okay, okay, sir. Um, now c coming to the political scenario. I mean, see the recent uh, IT raids. Do you think uh, they've been uh, politically motivated? Well, it's badly timed, so there's a natural room for suspicion. But the fact of the matter is that, uh, to my knowledge, normally income tax, when they are on this kind of uh, investigation, don't take a permission. Uh, because these agencies are supposed to do their job alone. I have not heard anyone in Delhi saying that uh, no, no, it was ordered by okay. by uh, so and so. It ha if anyone is to order it, it will be civil servants. And civil servants, uh, uh, I mean, the for instance, the revenue secretary. And I know the revenue secretary is a very upright man. And uh, so I have no evidence, so I can't say yes or no. Okay. But I certainly would say that timing is bad. Okay. Um, and also, sir, uh, there have been uh, sources uh, from the income tax uh, department who said that uh, a lot of incriminating evidence, which goes to show that uh, a lot of money that's gone into, you know, pumped into the RK Nagar constituency is out, and uh, there's there's quite a lot of possibility that uh, the elections could be deferred as well. So, what do you have to say about that? Well, first of all. Uh, <coughs> Uh, income tax always says that we found all in community evidence. I've never seen them after any raid saying we found nothing. Okay. Because they are not supposed to do the raid unless they had some uh, advanced solid information. Nothing so far has come out on public domain which I can say is evidence. Okay. Uh, certainly some pay papers where some money is transferred. Those so are not enough. Unless the income tax goes and files a case, okay, uh, and then the, these people are summoned, uh, you know, there's no prima facie case as yet. And uh, there's been uh, a document that's come out, sir, which says that 89 crore has been given to you know specific people to be uh, given over. But it's to not the written electorate. there; it is being uh, given for electoral. Uh, the, the names of the people. Oh no, it's it's been given. No, no, there. but the, I not show that you that, it should yeah. be given to the voter. No, I should, show, I should show you that. Yeah, I, you, I like to see it. I saw it on TV. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, see, the issue is that um, uh, as far as cancelling is concerned, uh, it will be very difficult uh, for... Uh, there is no provision. The only provision under which they can cancel is Article 3, 3 uh, 20, uh, 24 which gives them, which is of the constitution, which gives uh, a blanket power to the election commission to cancel any election if they think it's not going to be free and fair. Now, on what basis they will say this? Are they saying that only uh, one raid on the, uh, only the health minister. Uh, uh, huh, health minister has done this, that the DMK is not doing it? Uh, it will look very, very uh, prejudicial and I, that's why I interfered when the first question of formation of government was concerned. Because I said we must follow the constitution. I mean, there's no question of me uh, being a great fan of uh, Sasikala, I was sending her to jail. Uh, but you can't violate the constitution. Sure. And a man who doesn't even have one MLA, uh, you know, he's being put it against somebody who's got clear demonstrated majority. So, um, I think we should stick to the rule of law. And uh, 
I don't think the election commission, uh, election commission has done wrong things. For instance, freezing of the two uh, two two leave symbol, that was a totally wrong decision. It's totally against all previous uh, judgments of the Supreme Court. So when there are two factions fighting, pitching for it, what what what? You have to show some evidence. These people have got all the MLAs. This fellow has got nothing. Supposing tomorrow I go and say, get some congressman and uh, bribe him and say go to the election commission and say I am the real congress. There are two contending parties. True. Huh? But that's, that's, there's no substance in that man. You have to have some weight. You see some, uh, you, you give a list of all MLAs. It's very easy to give a list of MLAs. He hasn't produced any. So I, I think the election commission should learn to be a little more impartial than it has been in recently. Okay, okay. Uh, Sir, and what do you think about the choice of the uh, candidate for BJP in Narkinagar? <laughs> well, he, he must be a terrible candidate because the first thing he did then went and uh, talk, sought the blessings of Rajnikant. That's because he has a mass following in Tamil Nadu. Who? In Raj what? In Raj cinema? Doesn't, uh, not but there in are politics. people who have been wanting, to, wanting him to come into politics that as well. That is stupid. I think Tamil Nadu should get rid of all cinema stars. Unless they have done five years apprenticeship. Yeah, but, but that's the way it's been. But that's the way it's been. No, it's not been that way. Jayalta went through apprentice, I must say. Uh, but uh, Rajinikanth, what apprenticeship he has been to? You know? And he, he, and he you can't depend on him to stick to a line. He will go on changing that line. Or that uh, pompous idiot, what is his name? Uh, Kamala Hassan. Uh, I mean, the man, uh, I don't know what he talks, I can't even understand his English. See? So, uh, he goes on saying things, uh, one day one thing, and then he surrenders afterwards. So, I think cinema stars like in North India should be kept out. Even Amitabh Bachchan couldn't uh, stick it out. Yeah, yeah. So, I am not in favor of. Uh, uh, such uh, a politician, the first thing he does after becoming candidate is go and seek blessing. And next day, that man, uh, I think uh, Rajnikan disowned uh, his statement that he yeah. supports him. Uh, no, but he that is the day his he candidacy is dead. Yeah. Earlier, he hadn't uh, informed that you know he's going to I mean, support uh, Ganga Yamran. Anyway, no, no, I know that. I'm support. not saying that. I am saying that, well, then he should have done it more diplomatically. This man obviously tried to use his name. That itself uh, reflects poorly on him. You have to have a candidate like that. Doesn't have even sense of discrimination. He should have gone to Delhi and taken the blessings of uh, uh, Narendra Modi. That would have had some weight. Sir, and um, now uh, coming back to um, because you said the uh, Prime Minister, the there's been a. I mean, continuous protest uh, in Delhi with regard to the farmer issue. Yeah. But do you think that the Prime Minister should have evinced more interest, I mean, showed more interest uh, with regard to the... Well, I don't even know what they're protesting about. I meet Tamil Nadu MPs Vedra. every day in, uh, in this uh, parliament. None of them have spoken to me about it. Okay. They have not sent me a letter. Now, what is this? Suddenly come there in the hot sun, you start sitting and you expect the Prime Minister uh, to do this. Then the Prime Minister will have no other work. Every day there are 20 people sitting in the Jantar Mantar Road, 20 groups. No, but there's, there's the, uh, the farmers in Tamil Nadu seem to have a serious problem. I that mean, is what you are saying. I don't even know what the serious problem is. When the farmers came as a delegation to me uh, many years ago on Mulaperia, I went to court, fought the case and won it. Of course, these people they made a uh, Jalita and Karnani made a mess of it later on. But the fact is that that time they came with a petition, a signed petition. Here, I don't know, know what it is. The they are demanding waiver hmm? of loans. Huh? They are demanding waiver of loans. That is what you are saying. Are you their uh, leader? <laughs> then, I am a journalist, so I, I obviously... You, I can't go by journalists. Journalists' uh, capacity for veracity is... Uh, <laughs> you cannot generalize that. I am telling you, I am not talking about you particular, that. but as a rule, I never said, for example, that all Tamils are Portuguese, but the journalists went on saying that. I asked them to produce it. Show me where I have said it. They couldn't produce it. That's that's the same that uh, happened with uh, Tarun Vijay as well. What do you, what do you have to say? I mean, you are a South Indian, so what do you have to say? About Anybody that? who makes a distinction on the basis of skin color is a stooge of the British. Because genetically it's been proved that skin color has got nothing to do with race. It's pigmentation, which on the exposure to the sun, as we are closer to, in Tamil Nadu, closer to uh, the equator, 
the skin color is always darker than say if you are in Kashmir where the sun's rays don't directly hit you they directly hit you and the equator and the closer you are to the equator the more uh, uh, it's relatively more direct but uh, the test for a race is DNA and DNA tests have all uniformly shown that right from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, uh, from Jamnagar in Gujarat to Guwahati in Assam, our DNA is the same. We are one people. We didn't come from anywhere. So to say that I have a, whatever he said, I don't know. He has apologized for it. The matter is closed. But the fact is that he needs to brush up his knowledge. We are new history books are coming out and I will give him a... Uh, present him a copy and tell okay. him please read it. Okay, sir. And uh, there's been uh, quite a lot of controversy regarding Isha. Also, you might have known. Who's he? Isha Yoga Center. Oh, you mean that? Uh, uh, Jaggi Vasudev. Jaggi, ha. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on uh, the visit of the Prime Minister here, yeah. going by the fact that you know there seems to be large-scale violations. Uh, so, what's your take on uh, that? The activists, uh, the activists are up in arms, saying that you know, the Prime Minister shouldn't have. But how Jaggi is responsible for that? How would he know what the law is? He's the spiritual yes. master. So he's the one who's been ordering the constructions. He, how do you know? Is it in writing? I have not seen any he, such document. He owns the place. Uh, that's okay. He may own the place, but I have my mother who who uh, once uh, somebody came and said that you have not paid your income tax. She doesn't know anything about income tax. That can't be an explanation, sir. Uh, what else can be the explanation? He is a spiritual leader. To make him responsible is a standard practice of the Christian missionaries in this country. Every saint has been targeted. Uh, Shankaracharya of Kanchi was sent on a murder charge, a totally bogus charge. And Jay Lalita crumbled before the Christian community because he was going to Dalit uh, temples to do puja there. And they felt that this will prevent uh, conversion. So they targeted him. And I know for a fact that Sonia Gandhi spoke to, uh, uh, to Jay Lalita to uh, fix this guy in some uh, heinous way. Same thing with Asaram Babu. I have not met a single. Then this Asim Anand who's now been let off, a totally framed charge. So, this Hindu uh, saints are all being targeted. So, you mean to say that the Christian missionaries are behind this? I mean, I would be surprised. At the moment, I have not investigated because I don't take it seriously. Okay, your charges, I don't take it seriously. If he is prosecuted, uh, I, the High Court says that there's something is easily well then his managers should be taken to task. There's a well known law that you if a company commits a fraud you don't catch the chairman and put him in jail. But but the again uh, the allegation is that uh, they are very close to the center and so nothing happens. Uh, well, I mean center has just come. He has been uh, preaching for almost twenty years now. True, and he preaches true. very well, he speaks very well and that he speaks in good English. So the Christians are naturally nervous. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir.